Hello and welcome to another dose of Table Talk where we talk about your questions, topics, things and stuff that you recommend on uh, Twitter and Facebook using the hashtag Table Talk or on reddit.com slash r slash source. My name is Philip DeFranco. I'm Ross Everett. I'm Steve Zaragoza Who and I'm sick. slightly ill, yes. Uh, I have Canada uh, cold. Boy, you can't say I have can and not finish mm. it with sir. You gotta say Oh, yeah. wow. I have is a cold go that I got from like Canada. It. Yeah, it's I was like, 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 well, no matter what, it's a big relief. Yeah. Canada yeah, yeah. Know, right? like, oh, it must be really nice. Yeah. Really? You had to send me a text message that you had something important yeah. to tell me, and then you stopped on Canada? Yeah, yeah. I had a cough. I had to call. Yeah. Canada cold yeah, warns cold. you before you're gonna sneeze or sniffle. Like it has this little. It apologizes yeah. before him. Sorry, here comes a sneeze. I do. And instead oh, of making meth, you. you go and make maple syrup. But <laughs> also, Canada cold is like I'm gonna be here for just a little bit, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm yeah. sorry. You're gonna feel better when I leave. Yeah. You're gonna feel great. Uh, this one is from the Reddit. Breezy Balzac mm -hmm. says, "Who's your favorite B or C list superhero?" No big name. Oh, B or C list superhero. Yeah. Um, I would say currently, I know he has a name. Wait, in, what like, did it say? No what names? No big names. Oh like wow. Batman, okay. Superman. All right. Mm, see, that's the thing. Uh, right? They're they're the superhero movies, but then uh, we have the superhero TV shows, which are I'm actually kind of liking, and it's DC, yeah. DC that does mm -hmm. like all the like CW esque. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DC is like yeah. falling apart right well, now. Well, hey, hey, Arrow is a pretty good show. But I mean, I've heard good things about Arrow, and actually, someone that came to DeFranco Does Vancouver made the Deadpool costume that's on Arrow. Oh, really? Yeah, she showed me a picture, and I was Holy like, shit. I wish I wish I watched that show. Wow, I didn't talk yeah. to that person. I would have loved it. Yeah, no, she was cool. I mean, like, she was very proud, and like, honestly, if you build costumes, know. that's sick. That's I don't awesome. know, yeah, I don't know enough about the world. Is Deadpool in the same universe as, uh, the Green Green Arrow? Mm. I mean, right? No, no not Deadpool. I'm sorry, Marvel. Deathstroke. Oh, yeah. Deathstroke. Okay. De Deadpool's definitely Marvel. Yeah, Deathstroke. yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like, wait. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah. No, I know. I don't know my comic stuff, so I was like, mm. I was. I'm gonna stare at the camera because I don't know. <laughs> no, got it. Because because I don't know. Because I don't know. Because yeah. Uh, because yeah. On the show, he he uh, he goes by uh, <laughs> Arrow now. I think. It was, oh God, I haven't watched like the past three episodes. I don't know, I, my favorite thing about that show is he just changes his name and like everyone goes <laughs> along with him. He's the P. Diddy of superheroes? <laughs> yes, so just I'm just Diddy good? now, I'm good? just Arrow. Yeah, I mean there are a few episodes that, like it's one of those shows that I have to watch like three episodes at a time because sometimes it's just like a flop episode. But the yeah. beginning of season two to like uh, its mid-season uh, finale was really, really good and then it came back. And now he has like a sidekick that I know has like a name but uh, he's awesome in it, uh, and he because he's just like he's like really angry. He's like the closest thing to I think like a real person in a superhero situation. That's like cool. he's just got rage issues, like kick ass type of thing, or like you could think of it. But yeah, he's like he's got like super strength, and like he just he doesn't know how to control it. Slash, kind of doesn't. Oh, want he's a teenager. To. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. Yeah, he, like they literally they took the dude. I think he was on like Teen Wolf or something. Lindsay told me, and mm. uh, and he like came over because you just look at him and you're like, oh, he's probably gonna be like a big character because he's way too attractive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be around for a bit, handsome boy. That, yeah. Yeah. Here's your poster. See, and that's maybe why I stay away from those kind of shows. I feel like they do too much of the formulaic kind of thing for me to like really get into it. But also, I saw the pilot at Comic Con, and I was like, no, sir. The no, pilot, sir. the pilot, super cheese balls. Yeah. The, a lot of the first season is super cheese balls, um, but the second season's pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. And they haven't they haven't overwhelmed it with people. Like, you know, because like usually like season two or like a sequel, they're like, and there's a million bad guys. Kind of like uh, The Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, God, it's yeah. It's like how many people are, are they like setting it up or are they all going to be in this one Well, yeah, movie? we got Green Goblin and, uh, or well, actually it's not Green Goblin. It's Green Goblin's, uh, what's his name? Damn it. Uh, all I know is I saw the picture of him as it because at first it's like he yeah. looks really normal and yeah. then like when he's like lost his mind when they show that picture yeah. I'm like wow that looks amazing. Yeah, he's got like his spiked up hair and he looks all freaky and shit. Yeah. Like uh, what's that? The guy from The Incredibles? Yeah, he kind of does yeah. look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the bad guy. Uh, does Gambit count? Can I answer Gambit? Gambit's as, like, awesome. B or sure, C list? sure. Yeah, is he, yeah. Is he C list? Yeah, I mean, I well, think the I'd only say B list. wouldn't C like B or C list be like Jubilee? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, how about Colossus? If I have to go one. Oh, Colossus, sure, sure. Yeah. He hasn't like, really been super featured in the movies yet. He kind of yeah. got a little bit. I mean, like, he got that one, like, cool, like, oh, man, that guy could turn into metal real quick. Yeah. Like, that was that was a cool moment. Um, and then 
yeah, I mean, I mean, like Gambit was always my favorite yeah. growing up. It just Donatello was my favorite Ninja Turtle. Gambit was my favorite X Men. Just I think I like purple. Gambit's <laughs> great, man, and they still haven't really done him any proper justice in any of the movies. Yet, no, you know who really did sucks. Gambit kind of justice was Pete Holmes. <laughs> But he would like right, right, fire right. X Men, and like <laughs> yeah. he, he, Gambit was one of the ones that he fired. It was hysterical. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you want to throw cards? That's yeah. fine. You know what? Can I get this in before yeah, everyone yeah. fucking jumps on mm -hmm. the, on this train? Uh, Rocket Raccoon is one of the oh, greatest yeah. freaking characters ever, and he's about to be everyone's favorite. Basically, so, superhero. So I mean, that's he's not really a superhero. Though. That's really interesting because yeah, I had never heard of anything before we went to uh, to Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw it and I was like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. How is this in the same universe?" Yeah, because yeah. Because everyone's talking about how it's supposed to tie in, like all the sh all the yeah. movies are tying in. And I was like, "This seems like <laughs> like the weird side of it." Right. Um, and I wasn't into it until I, I, we we saw the trailer again, mm -hmm. but not in a room filled with a shit ton of people. And then I got excited. But I've been seeing a lot of reports saying that it's the most likely uh, to bomb at the box office out of really? all. Really? Well, I mean, like Chris Pat, hysterical, and yeah. the fact that he cut down all this weight inspires me tremendously. But uh, is he that leading man that's going to sell tickets? Is he your Hugh Jackman? I is think you're going to get a lot uh, of word of Robert mouth though with Guardians of I think the it Galaxy because I just Chris Pratt, absolutely. Chris Pratt. Yeah, because I, I feel like. Side note, he's a dreamboat. Did you see when he got like jacked Not up? Not only is he Andy Dwyer and you're like, oh, you're so adorable and so cute, but like now he's jacked up and fool. Yeah, you saw him in the, uh, yeah, the yeah. Bin Laden movie? Yeah. No. The Bin Laden movie? The Bin Laden, 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 Laden movie. In the Aladdin movie. <laughs> you know the Bin Laden movie. Oh, 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 oh. I like that. I like that Elliot did something he, funny, but off, off camera. camera. Yeah, yeah just not even. Elliot's not like, even I'm gonna rocks. entertain, but only these folks. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just ready yeah. for Rocket yeah, Raccoon on the big screen. It should be cool. But no, I think Guardians is actually going to get. It's gonna be totally word of mouth because Bradley Cooper does the voice, yeah. Yeah, Bradley yeah. Cooper's Rocket Raccoon, and then Vin Diesel yeah. is Groot. Which That's is really cool. Voice. Yeah. Groot? And in the comics, Groot only says, "I am Groot." Basically, he says nothing Perfect. else. I think Vin can handle it. Yeah, I think but I love it. But it's different. Inflections. So I'm sure mm. he did like a thousand different I, I am Groot. Groot? Yeah. Groot. Yeah. Triple X. <laughs> no, Vin, we just need you to say I am Groot. Oh, okay. Fast and Furious. Nope. No, no. no. Yeah, yeah. You gotta say I am Groot. Okay. The but I love, that they're, I love that they're not taking it seriously, though. I think that's gonna be a winner yeah. for them. Yeah. I mean, well, be that like was Iron Man. Almost. That's that's what I was about to say. Iron Man was such a huge hit with international audiences. Yep. And people that don't even maybe know about the comics because Robert Downey Jr. is just like, oh, I like you. Mm -hmm. oh, I like you a lot. Yeah. yeah cool so dude. Chris Pratt will bring a mm -hmm. lot to it. Uh, we got Sam Horn says, who is an actor that you were surprised doesn't get much work slash surprised who still, oh, wait, oh, su surprised who still gets work. Uh, oh. Dave Attell, I can't believe he doesn't get more work. Oh, yeah. Like, he's so funny. I loved Insomniac. He was great in that little cameo in Arrested Development. Yeah. Mm. And I, I don't know if it's just maybe he's hard to work with or what it is, but he's mm -hmm. so funny. I've got so many. I've got Joe and I have a big list of Hollywood like disappeared people. But now we have Michael Keaton kind of coming back. A yeah. Bit. But Michael Keaton is so underused in Hollywood right now. Yeah. It's sickening. And also, um, do you think he wants to get a ton of work? I don't know. I guess he's done. He's probably done. But now he's interested in Beetlejuice too. He's like, if Tim's on board, I'm on board. He's uh, and it's like, then what have you been doing for the past fucking dude, twenty years? I think he's been. He's been a break. Yeah. Or he's rolling in that multiplicity money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know ah. how many of him were in that movie? They each got a paycheck. Yeah. I think yeah. Harold Ramis directed that. Did he direct Multiplicity? <laughs> Multiplicity? Really? Oh. Maybe. If I'm wrong, I'm, I'm going to feel bad, but I think he did. I love the Rames. Uh, but also, um, another person is, uh, oh, fuck, I just had it in my head. Oh, what about Dave Chappelle? Uh, Chappelle, like, Chappelle disappeared I know, on his own. And I know, and I know why, to. and I know he chose yeah. to, but dude's so fucking So hilarious. good. The Chappelle show, and I, I wonder if, like, you, you got to wonder because... Everyone I knew that watched the show is like a white kid in the suburbs. I know, right? You gotta wonder if he's just like, why is this my demographic? Like, is this who finds me funny and hates it? Because Comedy Central. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. You're on after you South Park. <laughs> you know? But he's so brilliant. He's so good. He could teach young comedians so much, and he could influence young comedians so much. I think the best no. way that most comedians can learn is just to watch. I think, yeah. like, if he was in a classroom and he's like, here's the A to B. I mean, I don't really think, I think it's a lot of just testing. Yeah, but I mean, you can watch the things he's done so far, but he's not teaching anything by being gone. Like, he's, he's not teaching He's still does stand up every once in a while. He just won't do any in front of the camera stuff yeah. because I mean he I don't think he needs to yeah no he doesn't but also he was super put off by just kind of like the Hollywood the system bullshit. yeah yeah uh, which I've heard rumors about like Illuminati shit too like they threatened mm, his family and stuff really like yeah, there's all sorts of but there's stupid shit that surrounds 
actors' disappearances or like oh, when they kind of jump out of the, out of the Re- line like the, the Illuminati had nothing else better to do than fuck with Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if they if they see an up and coming like massive star that could potentially make millions, like Tom Cruise, you know, maybe well, they. The really great mention of Tom Cruise. I was just thinking about who I'd like to be in less stuff. And it's Tom Cruise. <laughs> what? How dare you? Yeah. Steve, do you think the Illuminati is Scientology? Are you confused about that? No, no, no. But but they <laughs> probably have a thing behind that, too. That doesn't make any sense, though. They're like, this guy might make $100 million. <laughs> yeah. No, but, I mean, you have a powerful actor like Tom Cruise. You don't. You not only have the eyes of, of like, the, the general audience, you also have people that will listen to everything that he has to no say. One, no, one. Literally, Tom like, very few people and, listen. And ruins movies because he's like, <gasps> yep. Hands down, there was a, what was that Cameron Diaz movie that he was in? He was like a spy. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that was, he was like a shitty. And movie. then he did no, that drive ripoff. Not or just that, but like, and also Jack Reacher. You know Jack Reacher. That's the drive like ripoff. A six foot. No, it's a. It's based on a comic. But I mean, it looks like they marketed it like like drive. drive. Yeah. But it was one of those things where it's like Tom Cruise is like five foot two, and he goes and he plays like he's like I'm gonna be Jack Reacher. Like you, you, you sure, Tommy? Like that's a <laughs> it's a six foot two guy. He goes, I... <laughs> I'm gonna be Jack Reacher. <laughs> it just, he comes into scripts and he goes, Oh yeah, this is a good. Script. Put an explosion here. Did you watch that movie? Would it be cool movie? if I fell out of a car? You watched that anything? <laughs> Which one? Jack Reacher. No, I haven't watched it yet. If you're gonna trash something, <laughs> you have to fucking experience it. Because in no way did he go into the movie start laughing like in that like <laughs> his, the one fucking thing. Like here's the deal. I think you can you can mention that the dude's like seems pretty batshit crazy yeah. in real life. As an actor, he's amazing. Yeah. He's fucking yep. awesome. All I see when I watch it, and this is the reason why I didn't go and see Reacher, was because all I see when I look at a screen is Tom Cruise. I cannot see him as any other character. Interesting, really? So in he, any Tom Cruise movie? Tom Cruise is too big for the screen. His hmm. personality and his outside antics supersede. No, but his that. outside antics don't touch his acting career. No, no I mean. well, for, I for, with you. for you guys, but every time I look at Tom Cruise on the screen, all I'm thinking about it, so I was like, this guy's crazy. Like, this guy's just nuts. Really? Shaking I think he, hands I, with a strong grip, telling people to come believe in Xenu. Like, I, you know, and me, as someone who is definitely in tune with that and can't turn off, like, the editing mind when mm-hmm. I see, like, bad edits or, like, actors and no, and when you know shit about actors, but even with me, Tom Cruise is such a good leading man. Mm-hmm. It, I don't know, it just, it doesn't, it, I don't, it doesn't work for me. I just see a new character on the screen, I'm like, oh, Tom Cruise! For me, like, when you can't separate, like, a, per- a person's personal life and their stuff, like, for me, that's like if you beat your wife, or like that was like Chris like, Brown yeah. as Ethan Hunt, no, dude, like, or with Woody Allen now. Like it's like I can't even, but even, even a written think or about directed Woody Allen movie, but like. Sarah Sleeper. and I get into this fucking massive argument all the time about Polanski. But hold on one second. You're a huge so Michael Jackson fan. I am, but nothing's proven about Michael Jackson. Nothing's it's proven all... about Woody Allen. Right, but it's just starting to make me falter a bit. I faltered when Mike, when the stuff about Michael Jackson first happened. Yeah. Absolutely. And I was like, ugh, fuck this. Like, what if he really is a child molester? But it's like Polanski. Polanski molested a child. There's yeah. proof of it. Yeah. And he fled the country. Yeah, and he's still and outside of making movies. He yeah. made amazing movies, yeah. but, but, but the argument is, is like, I'll still watch his movies, even though he's a shithead. But it's like, Sarah won't watch Mel Gibson movies. It's, because it's he's different a, because of, when you're behind the camera than when you're in front yeah. of it. Well, I guess so. Sh- so the thing is, it shouldn't be. But I think, as far as like how people perceive it, because yeah. you're not looking it's not at, in front of your face. at a child molester. <laughs> you're, not, you're not like, oh, look at that camera movement. That's that true. camera movement touched a kid. Like you can't do that. <laughs> you're like that. Got, look at those hands that are playing that clarinet. It can't, but it, it can't be ignored that the beautiful imagery mm. you're seeing and the from performance from the actors is all from the hands of this director. Yeah, I mean, well, sense. dude, the world is not black and white. I know, it's one of I those know. things. Like, if, it, wouldn't it be great if awful people were just bad at everything and it was <laughs> <laughs> easy to hate everything that they produce. Yeah, yeah. That'd be easy. Yeah. But it's not that way. It's like, oh shit, like I'm very uh, uncomfortable about the way I've supported you in the past and encouraged your, <laughs> you know, your endeavors. I can't really think of someone I want to see less of, even though I know there are many. Well, I have a, I want to have a, another question because you were talking about how Tom Cruise doesn't supersede the screen for you yeah, guys. Yeah, he doesn't. He's Who just too does? Good. Who when you watch them on the screen, all you could think about is like, oh, that's ben You know Affleck. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. I can't watch really? Bradley Cooper and 
I and like see him. him as a different guy. Nah, he's uh, for me. I don't know. I, I think you have to go older if if it's something. Maybe Angelina Jolie now. Mm. Yeah. But that that's about it. I mean, otherwise, most of the time they're just really good actors. Like I can I can watch Brad Pitt in anything. Him in Twelve Years a Slave is a little odd, but it's also because he like placed himself in a movie that he produced uh, as like the yeah. one good white guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think if you can take an actor and name at least two roles where they've played completely opposite type characters mm-hmm. and did it well, Brad Pitt <sighs> did in 12 Monkeys the insane yeah. dude, Ooh. and then we've got him in Fight Club where he's like the kick-ass I freaking would, Tyler Durden. I would say basically. Johnny Depp now. Well, it, you, oh, really? Johnny Depp throws because me I, off there you go. I was about to say that the people that I think are the best at totally going behind the, the character are Johnny Johnny Depp, uh, because whenever time I watch him, I actually think Captain Jack Sparrow more than I think Johnny Depp is. Nowadays, person. but he kind of he's but Johnny Depp also has at least two v- big versatile roles. Oh yeah, career. but it's not always about versatility. Two. It's like about like how, do, when we see you, are we thinking Johnny Depp? Are we thinking Captain Jack Sparrow? Like, what are you thinking in your mind when you watch the movie? But one person who you will never think. Oh, I know that person, and I'm not able to see the role. Gary Oldman. Ooh, really? Yeah. When That's you watch, for you, huh? When I see oh, Gary, wait, wait, wait. And you, he can he can transform into he's, whoever. Like, yes, when I'm yes. watching Gary Oldman on the screen, I have no idea that it's Gary Oldman. Yeah, yeah. It's always that same, character. I feel the same way about Sean Penn. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Sean Penn's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. He just disappears into that character. Ooh, you know what? I think I just thought of someone I'd like to <laughs> see less gonna, of. Oh, who? Uh, no, no, no. I still got Sean it. Sean Penn. Oh. oh, is it Ben Stiller? No, no. Helena <laughs> Bonham Carter. Okay, uh, yeah. I guess she needs to take a seat. She needs yeah. to get in the back seat. Yeah. But then Tim Burton won't be able to make movies. Oh, with oh no. <laughs> Contractually. Wah, yeah. wah. Tim Part Burton of... might have to take a break and then get good again later. You know, oh. who, you, know, you know who was someone? It wasn't that they were too big. It was just you couldn't get past it, I think, most of the time. was uh, When Dane Cook was in movies, it was kind of awesome. Oh, yeah. man. And he was um, in everything. Yeah, someone wow. that I would like to see in more movies, but please pick better movies, is Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I, I, I like love, him. I love Ryan Reynolds. Did you see Buried? Reynolds. It was amazing. I love and he was incredible. Hold on. Yeah. Also, did you see Waiting? Like, not, waiting to, is a shit. not to put him in a box like Barry did, <laughs> but um, Waiting is Ryan Reynolds at his Ryan Reynolds-iest, and it's incredible. <laughs> That's did a great way to say it. <laughs> yeah, right? Did you see him in Adventureland? I thought he was good. No, was but good it, it, Waiting like, in Adventureland felt like the same movie to I, me. Like, just by the poster. The, I didn't see it. Again, this is not movie. Right. Right. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Dude, but if I, you like Martin Starr, and if you like Jesse Eisenberg even a little bit. What if I like... Uh, what I'm if just, I like Jesse Eisenberg? I'm wondering what like the Martin fuck Stark. else you've given me like opinions on that <laughs> I know. actually didn't experience. What have you been doing? Like, oh, <laughs> they have terrible pizza. Our whole friendship Still, is like, a lie. I've never played Last of Us. <laughs> never. That Last, you'll believe. Did it's, you yeah. like McDonald's it's, poutine? It's, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's Harley, the dog, playing, playing <laughs> Last of Us. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, do you have someone that you've... Like no. to see. Oh, you already said it. Yeah, we yeah. want to see more Ryan Reynolds, but less of anybody. Anybody. No, get. better movies. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't. I, I'm not. I don't know who I'm surprised that gets yeah. work. I don't know. Yeah. I know there are some though. Maybe it's like Tyler Perry needs to take a little. A he makes his own work. He's like the, he yeah. made YouTube on tel, on the. He movie. knows. Yeah, he knows his audience, yeah. and he's yeah. gonna keep making it. I think great for him. All right, final one here from Glendale Com College. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, what is something you knocked until you tried it? Food, activity, etc. Reacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you're not gonna watch that movie and be like, that was amazing. I could. <laughs> I mean, like, I won't like Tom Cruise. This is funny because you're you're. This like is okay essentially movie. this whole thing like, with okay. Ross here, like yeah. the knock till you try it. Like, ah, yeah. Try this it. is kind of like pertains a little to you. Though. I'm trying to think about like what's one thing that I was staunchly <laughs> against before I try it. It's probably like I knock a lot of like fast food, like they create mm. stuff and I knock it and then like I'll get really drunk and then eat it and be like, mm. You know, and that's the thing, there's a lot of hate for fast food, rightfully so, because of obesity and heart disease Here's the deal. and very serious Steve, things. Steve gets paid off by the Taco Bell <laughs> uh, lobbyists. In tacos. In tacos and PlayStation 4. But let's say, Taco Bell aside, uh, like I work, when I worked at Sony, like this is a big corporate place yeah. and there's, you know, and then you're in, um, basically near Marina Del Rey, you're in Culver City, basically, and it, you know, lunchtime would be like, let's go to that sushi place, let's go to that like Thai place, let's go to the Br- Brazilian food, you know? Mm. And it's like, I, every once in a while you would find the guy that's like, I just wanna go to Jagged Box and get a fucking 99 cent taco. And it's like, there was that culture of people that when they found out we were gonna go to Wendy's or Taco Bell or something, they were like, ugh! Fuck you, man, you're gonna go to fast food? That's disgusting, you're ruining your life. And it's like, yes, I am. 
But in moderation, if I eat, like, a fucking 99 cent taco, and then I go, like, you know, run a mile or walk my dogs an extra long amount of time, and then eat a salad Two I make at totally home. totally separate things. So, Do you think yeah. you're accomplishing the same yeah. thing by running a mile? No, 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 no. But as long as you longer? live a semi-healthy lifestyle I think, and don't only eat fast food, I think then no there's no problem with no fast one, food. Yeah, no one's arguing that. But... How often do those two things usually align? It's a good point. For some people, yeah. I think it does. Point. For some people, yeah. it does. But how many times have you gone to Taco Bell and then run a mile after? No, never, never. But, <laughs> but, but you, you can go to Taco Bell and keep it in your head that you went to Taco Bell, and then the next day go, I can't have Taco Bell today or tomorrow, and today I'm gonna have a salad and I'm gonna walk to lunch today to make up for the Taco Bell I had yesterday. I'm 31 years old, man, and this is a lifestyle I'm barely learning about. When I was fucking 18, 19, dude, I was shoving fucking Big Macs and taco, like everything into my mouth. Well, right now you're doing the Jared approach. You walk yeah, to Subway. Yeah. And yeah. you like that's literally what they I mean Subway's fast that food. Campaign. No, it's not. I mean technically. No, it's if not. you wanna if it's... you wanna eat Subway and make it hurt less, you gotta like have them scoop out the bread yeah. and they do that. And like, that's turkey know. only. But it's like no mayo, here, no cheese. But also Subway is the shittiest like sandwich place <laughs> in the fucking world. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> the like, bottom of have, the barrel. They have it's... great marketing, mm -hmm. fucking terrible. Like what just go said? to just go to like a local deli place. Yeah. Usually it's like the same price or get a little less. That's net that never hurts. Even go into your local grocery store, and I'm sure they have a deli counter, like get a sandwich That's what I mean, yeah. might be a little more expensive, but Better bread. fucking delicious. Dude, even Better Quiznos. Bread. Quiznos, they're all fading away and dying because they're a little pricier than Subway, uh -huh. but Quiznos sandwiches are delicious. Way better. Way better Also, than they Subway. have those like little like wrap things. Not wraps, but they have like, oh, I don't yeah. know what to call them. You can get the salad in a wrap form at, at, at Quiznos, Wait, which is great. like a lettuce wrap? No, I, I meant like they oh. have small sandwiches, and oh, you can yeah, get like yeah. two of them and like a drink for like All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a recommendation because you guys seem to like sandwiches. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret uh -oh, here too. Oh, sandwich uh, secret. Santa Monica, Bay City's Deli has the best. Oh, sub see. sandwiches. You got to get with the hot peppers. You get the godmother with everything on it. I haven't had one of these in years, and I'm so sad. <laughs> but it, it's I've never had one, but I hear yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> by, by, live, let me live vicariously through you. Let me smell your bread. No, uh, but like it is. If you guys want to experience the best sandwich, the best sub sandwich in uh, Santa Monica, basically. All right. Probably. I thought you were gonna be like, here's a little tip. People can make sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and nine times out of ten, never are just suggest as good. that you make your own food. <laughs> How dare ever. you? It's How exhausting dare you? Just yeah. to think about. What it. you want to save money? Fuck that. But to, what, but to touch on, on this a little bit, because the fast food thing, I find that when I consume the fast food, it puts my brain in a different state where I am actually more lethargic and less likely to work out or do any of that kind of thing. Oh come on, mom. <laughs> my mom is booing my. my she uncle. brought Arby's, by the way. Oh, we yeah. have it after. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> no, but what are your guys' thoughts on Earl of Sandwich? Because I know people are like, oh my god, it's the best fucking place. I've never place. heard of what it. That is. So, Earl of Sandwich is a place, they have one in Vegas, and now they finally have one in Anaheim. And, and they have them like scattered randomly, but anytime I ever mentioned Earl of Sandwich to someone, they're like, best fucking sandwich ever! What about it? Well, it's just like kind of artisan, like a little bit fancier than your normal sandwich place. Type. Kind of like a Panera type place. Mm. Uh. But you know, and but it's like, you know, premium items and, and things. They've got uh. like this uh, Thanksgiving sandwich with like cranberry sauce in it and stuff. That and sounds stuffing. good. And, yeah. And it, you, yeah, wasn't that great? I don't know. Really? Well, I've never had that. I, I would say if I if I end this whole thing and also just uh, the sandwich, the, the best sandwich I've ever had has been from Firehouse Subs. Um, it's one of the best places. If if they weren't so hit or miss, whether they're popular or not in the area, I would 100% own a franchise. Really? Um, it's amazing. I've mm. I've <laughs> when I was doing like low carb and I had like a cheat day or whatever, like uh -huh. way back, I drove three and a half hours to this place because wow. I was like I was like I need to have this. It's Where like, are they? Nationwide? They they're they're like mainly like around the coast um, on the west coast. Is they're there any pretty New York? Sparse. Um, New York, I'm not sure. I know that like uh, when I lived in uh, Atlanta, it, they have a bunch of them, and it's amazing. Um, easily one of the best places. Um, but I think uh, actually, so a question to you: What's Do you the think best that sandwich Steve, you've ever had? Uh, should punch Ross in the face for not liking uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise? Uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Mind you, Steve's punches are kisses. Here it comes. I'm <laughs> waiting. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll miss, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Come on. Or as I'm going in, you just need to take my hat off. Yeah, and I'll be like, yeah. waffle sandwich. Poop out. <laughs> when did you decide that your hat contained your brain? <laughs> Is that you know, it just kind of happened one day. It was on a table. Someone knocked it off, and I just... 
I didn't feel like myself, Phil. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, if you want us to answer other questions and stuff, remember the hashtag. Go to reddit.com slash r slash sourcefit as well. My name's Philip DeFranco. I'm Ross Everett. I'm Steve Zaragoza. We didn't answer this at all, what was by it? the way. What is something you knocked until you tried it? Hmm. Can I just say it really quick? Avocado. My dad, I was. I grew up in a house I'm gonna join on that. I, uh, yeah, I never had avocado. I was like, that's fucking stupid. Right? California puts it on everything. Oh, it's delicious. It's the most yeah. amazing. This is butter from nature. I didn't, and that's... Brilliant marketing. Uh, but the first time I ever have an avocado, uh, I hated it, and then they put salt and lemon on it, and like Ooh. that was it. And I was like, I'm hooked. Dude, you can put avocado on anything. I hate it when, like, I mean, but I don't like tomatoes, so I can't nature's really talk too much. Butter. It is like nature's <laughs> butter. Don't they say that? I feel like people say that. I don't know. Because you can just take it off and spread it. No, spread it. it. On the it's the only spreadable fruit. For you. <laughs>